Hello everyone, welcome back to The Garage. I'm Paul. I'm Allison. And welcome back to episode four of the podcast. And for today's episode, we thought we wanted to do something a little special, something different. Mm -hmm. We actually have a very special guest, but um, I don't know where they are right now. I really don't. I think they're hiding somewhere. Oh. Um, you can come out. <laughs> <laughs> We have Hello. Adriana! Woo! Yay! Hello, Adriana. Hello. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh of my course. God. So, Adriana is, is our high school friend. She's my high school our, friend. My high school friend as well. Well, she recently. You weren't in high school when she became your friend. I was a part <laughs> of high school. Well, I was. I went to a high school. I went to a high school. <laughs> Not your assigned one. But how are you today, Adriana? How is your day going? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. It was perfect. The day. Didn't go to work. Yay. No oh, work. Perfect. Me neither. I had a day off too. Oh, no, girl. I had to work at 8 in the morning today. Ew. That Ooh. shit was terrible. How long was your shift? It was a, Luckily, it was a four-hour shift. Oh! But, um, it wasn't oh, bad. It's just like towards the end. Yeah. It was no, because like the morning shift, you're like, okay, I'm ready. It's gonna be over, mm -hmm. and then like mm -hmm. you get towards the end, and you're like, damn, yeah, like it feels long as hell. Cause like yeah, literally that one last hour. Yeah, you're like waiting. Oh my god. Mm -mm. I woke up to like three different text messages from like my coworkers asking if I could come in today. Mm-hmm. Oh no. No. That shit was terrible. That drains you, bro. Mm-hmm. Especially like, I don't know. Um, for me, I love morning shifts, but then um. I don't. It, <coughs> sorry it's not that they're bad it's just bro literally before opening oh my god like before opening there's always like people like lined up outside <gasps> there's literally people waiting outside the door for us to open really literally it's 9 30 we open at 10 oh my god go back in your car go home go home go grab a go grab no, a breakfast literally um I think Thursday. Mm -hmm. Thursday, you know how it was like storming pretty bad in the morning? Yeah. There were still people waiting outside the no, door. That couldn't be. There me. was there were there was people waiting outside the, they were they were trying to come in and try to knock you know what we were doing? We were standing at the door. We were looking at them. Absolutely not. Stupid. Stupid. Uh -uh. Stupidity. You could not catch me dead doing Go, that. Go wait in your car. It's nine fucking thirty. Give us give us a second. We're we're still busy. Hell no. It's just like, bro, like, what like are you they, getting out of this? I feel this? like they cannot use comments and be like, oh, they open at 10. Let me wait. Right. Literally. Yeah. It's like, bro, chill out. Like, it's a makeup. It's not going anywhere. Google has our hours of operation. If you want, just, if you want can to shop know, online, too. Literally. Right. If you want to know if, you, if something is in stock, you can check our website. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Will it be accurate? No, but you can call the store. <laughs> <laughs> no, but still, it's but better you than... Can, you can call the store. You can clarify. You can make sure. Right. It's just st stupidity at its finest Girl. no but yeah going to work so much like it it drains you it does and it gets so tiring for like uh, i don't know i remember like when i first started working mm -hmm. it was absolutely terrible like i would get like so much anxiety before going into shifts every day i would have to like wait in my car 30 minutes before a shift like i'd park outside my yeah thing because it was uh i don't know because i was i was new to the people like i was scared of the people oh my god yeah just until recently whenever I was okay period no, because whenever I first started working, I was, like, I was always, like, like, whenever I would go to interviews, I would always dress up nice, like, a cute, like, little button-down, oh, like, real. nice pants, mm -hmm. uh, spare, like, nice berries, like, dress shoes. Mm -hmm. I for was, what? I, for what? Like, formal. Because it was a, it was a job interview. I wanted to get the job. I wanted to fit the part, you know? Yeah. And then, like, but it's so dumb because whenever, like, whenever, obviously, whenever I was working and I would see them, like, giving other people interviews there were like hoodies yeah baggy jeans just like, like, like they just came from they school they just look raggedy they still get the job i was like i did all this for what and for, for what for what and i didn't even get like a high rate page like what right a high wage like that oh, mm -mm. give me give me something give me like credit yeah. give no, me effort i would i would try my best for yeah. every single interview right no but i whenever i first started working i would always try to be like very punctual like yeah i would be oh like God, yeah. if i had to be in like let's say four i try to be there like at 320 
because I want to because uh-huh. I'll or try to leave the house like at 320 yeah even though it was like literally right there because I don't know how traffic's gonna be I don't know how bad it's gonna be I for did me not to get there. be late I did not want to be late because mm-hmm. the, girl that that first job meant so much to me mm-hmm. yeah because mm-hmm. you've been working for a while like I've been working, just jobs literally I've been working since I was 16 <gasps> so whenever once I start once I turned 16 I immediately started looking for jobs i oh started God. applying everywhere i started i think i applied for target H-E-B, oh yeah target's always Walmart. the first one Wal- target but was like my first girl, one i applied target for never accepts you literally oh i was God. so flabbergasted i was like i really want to work at target i love target Wait, oh no they're i was like i'm gonna hiring. get this one they're yes. hiring. Always they're always hiring. hiring but it's just like damn hell no no, but and, and there's never anybody there. Like when you need them, right? Like, I mean, like, <clears> all the session, cash registers are always closed. Yeah, I'm like, have, like, like three people there, and then like, like why aren't y'all hiring? Yeah. I'm pretty sure they have a lot of people coming in. Shit, yeah. Target in the morning be like booming. Mm-hmm. It does. Like who doesn't love Target? Right. Oh hell no. So I don't know why they don't be hiring like that. Like y'all have the money, y'all have the funds. Y'all do. So yeah. clearly, so, uh, clearly you need people because this. I don't know what this, this isn't working. I w- if I was here, y'all would have been running. Exactly. You know what this is giving? Circus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Be like, come on now. Terrible. Yeah. No, but yeah. Target was like the very first job I applied for. Mm-hmm. I applied for it like eight different times. I got oh. rejected all eight. Oh. No, I <laughs> once to Target. Um, I didn't hear back from them in like a week, and I was like, okay, move next. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I would go to like Walgreens, and then I did my current job. Mm-hmm. And I'm what at what age did y'all start working? I literally started like six months ago, so nine, eighteen going on nineteen. Period, yeah. queen. How old was I? How long have 17. you been working? Oh, yeah. it start. This is like y'all's first job, right? Yeah. This is like oh yeah. The only job y'all mm-hmm. worked. I'm very loyal to my job. Me too. Period, bro. I've been ran through i ran through so many jobs he's a bop (laughs) 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 he he thought i said bob (laughs) no and the mode right bro i've been i've worked at whataburger when i whenever i first started Mm -hmm. i Whenever I was 16, I worked at Whataburger. Bro, my whole family worked at Whataburger. Yup. My brother, my cousin, my other cousin, the whole <laughs> At this point, Whataburger family. knows your, your family. Literally, everybody knows me there. Mm-hmm. Like, our whole family started working at Whataburger. Oh, so, wow. I was working with my brother and my cousin. Mm-hmm. And then, also, my other cousin. So, mm-hmm. it was four of oh us God. working in the same exact job. <gasps> but it was really fun. It was really fun. It just, the customers were, like, horrible. Oh it's always Especially because Whataburger is, like, popular in Texas. Mm-hmm. So, that should be... Bowman. It does, that shit was bro. Bowman, Bowman. Like, the they got lines, two lines. Literally. They, they say go to line, line A, lane B. No. Line B. And the thing is, like, our lines would wrap yep. around the whole store. Even, like, go- going on to West Timer. No, <clears> but <throat> the thing is, you know, if you're getting put in lane B, you're not going anywhere for a while. You're not going anywhere to anytime soon. And it, de- it usually depends on the person that's working lane B. Because if I was working lane B, you're out quick. Mm. I, I like to say I was pretty good at my job whenever I worked That's at good. Whataburger. But yeah, I worked at Whataburger. I worked at Starbucks. I used to be a barista. I used to be... Right. I loved working at, as a barista, but it's just I wouldn't get much hours. Mm. And then I lived far. So mm. it was just like, you know what? That's fine. And I, I thought I was going to move, but I never ended up moving. So, But I did regret leaving. But then um, I worked at Morphe for a while. <laughs> Um, only worked there seven days. Girl, Morphe is like a high school relationship. <laughs> literally, literally, I worked there seven days. They closed down. <laughs> I was like, you, you were their fall. <laughs> you, you went in and they're like, no, not them. We're not. No. We're not. We're not doing that I'm anymore. Sorry, we're not open anymore. <laughs> and it was so crazy because like, whenever, like the days I was working, I was working as seasonal. Oh yeah. So this was going on to like. Christmas. Christmas. And so And it was in like the big mall. Yeah. Like, and then so there was a lot of people in Morphe because we had a seventy percent off sale. And that once and we were like that was that was a little weird because Morphe doesn't usually do that. Mm-hmm. They never have like a seventy percent off sale like in their stores. So I was like, mm, but I didn't think anything of it because like they hired me. <laughs> he didn't think anything of it till he was booted out the next no, day. Because they told me okay, so whenever I found out that they were closing down 
But I, I started loving my job. My job was really fun. I love the people there. Yeah, because um, they knew they were leaving. So. No, 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 no. <laughs> the, every, everybody found out through a Zoom call. <gasps> basically, basically, um, basically, we, no. were, we were, I was at home. I was at home and then my manager texted me, the one that interviewed me. Uh-huh. He was like, hey, like we're having a Zoom. I, um, I really think you should get on because I really do want everyone to listen up because it's a really important news that they have to give us. So I was like, okay, I'll get on. And I ended up getting on. Literally everybody, like everybody from Morphe, literally people from California. Oh, people they for, had the main boxes? Yeah, they, this was like a big zoom. Even, no, imagine they had all of the like artists they collabed with. Like, oh fucking. my God. <laughs> no, know, no, no, no. It was crazy. Jacqueline Hill. Literally, <laughs> literally she, like. James Charles. Everyone, yeah. like He's, corporate people were on there. People <laughs> that, um. I think people, some people that own Morphe were on there, too. Oh, my so God. So, basically, uh, people from California, people from, um, like... California. No. And stuff like that. Yeah, there was, uh, there was people from, uh, like, all around. Mm-hmm. Like, the big cities, like yeah, New York. Yeah, the big cities. Um. Uh-huh. And then uh, they told us, that's when they told us, like, um, they told us that some select Morphe stores were closing down just because they weren't able to, like afford being mm-hmm. open anymore so basically they started listing off like all the morphes that were closing down and my store was one of them How the and fuck? whenever and whenever i heard that my store was closing down i was like i've been working here seven days and i'm already being like laid off how no wait how did like- they go through every single morphe like in america <laughs> And then, we, no, but the thing is, I like, think it was mm-hmm. only certain Morphe's that closed down at the time, but and the then thing more is, like, closed later. But still, like, do you know how many Morphe's there are in like the globe? Yeah, that shit. It, it was. I crazy. imagine I it like felt like at least like said like. Oh, uh, but we offer you this position or like an online yes. position or like giving you like some type of like ownership of morphe for yeah. their inconvenience no but the, 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 the good thing is like the good thing that i got out of this is because since i was being laid off they gave me i don't know what it was called but basically i can i can know yeah com- competition basically i applied for it they gave me six hundred dollars back mm-hmm. because i was working those working those seven days girl i got six hundred dollars if i was working there for a year i probably got would have gotten more mm-hmm. so oh my god i got those six hundred dollars gone one second because a certain situation but we're not going to talk about that um <laughs> but basically yeah i was laid off from morphe and then i was jobless for like a couple of months it was really bad Without job. Bro, 2022 was a horrible year for me it was bad oh yeah but then um i ended up in ulta and i've been working for ulta for about a year now that's good mm-hmm What's it like? What's it like working at? Boy, <laughs> no, don't worry, we'll bleep it. You okay. have been saying names left and right of stores, <laughs> but before, that's fine. No, we'll before we it. started this, we were like, okay, we'll just like won't say our company names because, like, you know, for like privacy and stuff mm-hmm. and whatever, just like to be whatever. And I was like, okay, we all got in the back of our mind, and Paul was like, Whataburger Morphe <laughs> laid me off on a Zoom call. <laughs> Fucking hate but that's Morphe. What, that's okay, because you can talk about Morphe. Everybody's talked about Morphe before. You can leave that one in. Just say what it's like to work at a grocery store. Okay. Cut that out. I'm not cutting that out. <laughs> no, yes, you are. Will we do it? What's it like working at a grocery <laughs> store? <laughs> <laughs> How's your job? Uh, I don't know. Like, uh, I, okay. Like, in a way, not to brag, but I love the paycheck. I love the hours they gave me. But it's so fucking horrible because they're stupid people all the time, you yep. know? Yep. It's just, like, it's, like, obviously, like, like I said, there's people that come in, and you can notice immediately, like, if they work in customer service or not. Mm-hmm. And there's some people that you can notice off the bat, like, they have never worked in customer service because... They're fucking rude as fuck. They expect you to know fucking everything. And mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't manage everything. Like, damn, I just came back from fucking school. And you expect me to know all of this? No. It's just it's just dumb dumb stuff, you know? It's always, like, horrible. Like I said, I love my coworkers. I love my ma- my managers and everybody. Everybody is so fucking nice, you know? Because they, at the, end of the, at the end of the day, like, everybody knows, like, 
what we're all going through like we're like oh yeah customers are a handful you know so yeah. everybody's like nice to each other you know mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but um i just don't see myself working there forever mm. i never like i don't know i i told myself like i'm gonna work there for a year but now i look and see myself working there for like two years oh yeah or like um like until i really find like a higher paying job you yeah know? that has decent hours as well where i know like i'm gonna be okay with it you know mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because i guess because it's also my first job i don't want to yeah. let go of it immediately and next thing you know i have a job that i regret yeah yeah no i know because agree. the thing i could say about like our current jobs is as much as we hate like customer service as much as we hate it so much i am so truly grateful that i have a job that I actually i'm actually like have a job they gave me like even though i don't get much hours obviously mm-hmm. but i'm still happy that i'm getting a paycheck because yeah like yeah. honey i i need to keep moving oh yeah definitely i'm not complaining that like yeah I'm i not. don't want a job or anything i do want a fucking job mm-hmm. it's just that people just drain you they drain the fuck out of you i never realized that i thought i was being like okay you know like like because when i remember when i told like everybody i'm like i'm working here blah blah, blah you know um everybody's gonna be everybody was like you do great you do great you know and i was like yeah i i, I handle, i'll handle the the stuff customers i did not expect the shit that i like yeah. would go through like i thought we'll handle it no right? the first fucking complaints of somebody like gave of me from to my manager i fucking cried i was like mm. oh my god yeah. literally i thought my world was ending <laughs> real oh my, literally i don't, oh my god that reminds me i have so like i have yelp reviews about me about like <laughs> in my page. stories no literally does it say your name or like yeah <gasps> they say my name like my name is on there and it, not like some th- most of the time it's good things though okay. so i'm not mad about it but mm-hmm. there there is like certain ones to, it doesn't say my name but like mind you i'm like there's two guys working there oh okay. okay. So, it's obvious who they're talking about. Uh. Mm-hmm. So, obviously, I know when it's about me. Mm-hmm. And it's, like, it's crazy what they be saying. I'm, like, girl, I literally, like, helped you. Like, wow. I Real. found the product for you. <laughs> like, what? It's just, it's crazy. No, it's the thing is that they get mad at you if there's not the product there. Literally. Like, it's like, like I, I don't control like, the ma'am, stocking, man. Exactly, ma- ma'am. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to call shipment? Mm-hmm. Be like, hey, queen, hey, queen like, we're, we're, we got it in. Mm-hmm. No, anytime they ask me for, like, a food or something, and they're like, are you sure? I always get it here. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go I'm gonna go check in the back for you. I go. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't have it. And I come back, I'm like, oh, shit. Ma'am, I looked far and wide. There are no croissants. I looked in the back of the shelf. Mm-hmm. No more. I, I, looked, in, I looked in the next dumpster. Door. The amount of times they ask, like, if we could do different things to their food. Be like, could you add, like, such and we're like we are a fast food chain we don't really do that here no. we can take stuff off but our stuff is like pre-packaged Literally. like we can't no because there was this one time where someone had asked me for a sandwich it was like there was like a little like croissant sandwich mm-hmm. and then um they were like can you add jalapenos on there i'm like ma'am like, it already comes pre-packaged we don't have like yeah stuff Add-ons, to put on it yeah she was like so you don't have jalapenos no, ma'am. No! I just said that like, to you. What? I just said that. I we don't have, have like, no. They think we have, like, fresh cut food, like, or something. Mm-hmm. For I, real? Like, I, like, I get it. It's kind of like cafe and bakery or something like that. But, girl, like, this is still considered a fast food chain. We have a drive through We're in, We don't have freshly baked food. Exactly. Because. Or whenever they ask stuff for, like, without buns. Like, heat it up without buns. <gasps> Stop! <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'm. Uh, <laughs> okay. This has probably been, like, my biggest interaction with a customer mm-hmm. ever. Mm-hmm. And I didn't even fully interact with this lady. I walked away <laughs> because I wasn't ready. You walked away? Yes! <laughs> because it was the drive through and it was a rush, and it was the morning. Like, our uh-huh. time, you know? And he comes to a drive through and she's like, can I get a, a breakfast sandwich? One of my breakfast sandwiches. And we're like, yes, ma'am. Like, of course, blah, 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 whatever. And she's like, um, can I have it without the buns? And then we're like, um... Give me one second. Because, again, we can take stuff off. We can't put stuff on. And we're like, I don't think that. Let's ask, like, our shift leader, manager, mm-hmm. you know. 
we asked her, we're like, can we do that? Because keep in mind, we put stuff in the oven. We're not, if we put solely the like sausage, the cheese and the egg, in the oven, that's gonna fuck up our oven. Cause now it's gonna create all the a grease, big mess. Uh, the grease, know? the cheese is all melted. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah. And we're like, no, ma'am. Unfortunately, we can't do that for you. And then she pulls the, I've been a loyal customer of, said company for six years now. They've done this for me before. Like you can do it. If you guys are lazy, you can just say that to me. Oh my You're not, god. You don't do that. Oh my god. And I was, I was shocked. I was like, what in the? I wasn't taking her order. Thank. <gasps> god oh my god this reminds me of like um the situation that happened at my job where like this uh man was like i don't know like he was telling me like okay like i told him his total right mm-hmm. i was like your total is blah 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 and he's like you put like 60 dollars in cash you know out of his whatever total was and i was like and i was like yeah i mean and whenever he's like in cash i expected to hand me the money but he was not handing me like giving me cash or anything you know where's the cash yeah i was like i cannot put like 60 dollars cash what if you're trying to scam me you know so i was like sir i do not understand he's like it's okay the other tributes they do it and i'm like sir this is not how i was trained you know and he got off on me he was like he was like i've been a loyal customer blah blah blah. you're really trying to like like cause a long long line people are waiting behind me and i'm like and i literally called my manager i was like you Give me the sixty dollars. Yeah. How hard is for you to take the out the sixty dollars? Yeah, if you want me to do math, like if it's something like with your bank account or some shit, like like literally, like, like, I can I can just pull up exactly. I can just pull up my calculator and be like, okay, you know, so a hundred minus sixty, you have forty. You for, you have forty dollars yeah. left. And for in order for you to do that option, you have to put in the cash first. Yeah, yeah. and then do the rest on card. Like what? If, what the fuck are you doing? Give me the fucking cash. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. How am I yeah. What if he doesn't have sixty dollars? He has fifty dollars in cash. Now you right. just screw up the whole fucking yeah, system. Yeah, it's exactly. Absolutely and who's gonna not. get in trouble? Fucking me. Exactly. You know? right. I am not about to get fired just because of your stupid actions. Uh-huh. The fuck? Mm-mm. It's yeah. just chill out, bro. Mm-hmm. It's like how hard terrible. is for? How hard is it to take out your wallet? Take out the sixty dollars. Here, sixty dollars. Give it to her. Because you oh, said you were giving me those sixty dollars. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Give. She puts it in. Rest card. Go. Get out. Or okay. If you out. Just, or, or if you just want simple math and be like, okay, I want sixty dollars, but I don't know how much I'm gonna pay let let let. I mean, left over from my card. I can just use my calculator. Like, right, but tell me, like, explain yeah. something mm-hmm. to me. Or, like, it will literally tell you in the system. I literally kept rep- repeating him. I was like, okay, you're going to have this much left. He's like, no, type it in on, you know, the fucking screen. I'm like, I cannot do that unless you physically have cash with you. Right. And I have it in my hand. Exactly. Absolutely uh-huh. not. Because no. the fuck, you aren't, you ain't going to about to get away with, like, you spending, like, $14 on f- food whenever it was like 74 dollars mm-hmm. right like what no but yeah i hate when they do the because it's happened more time than yeah once that like people are like i've been i've been a loyal customer since 2014 and i was like i don't get i wasn't even here in 2014 Honey, that was like no, seven years ago care. oh my god this and they, lady was terrible and they use that excuse and you don't even know if you've been a loyal customer how do you not know the system works right like, how do you do how do you not know the policy right how do you not like y- you've been here multiple years mm. no but okay sandwich lady it gets worse Uh um we we were explaining to her that this thank like every single god ever that my coworker, who is my coworker, was taking the order because she is probably one of the best like employees to like interact with customers she's very understanding but still direct Mm -hmm. she's the absolute best she's one of my favorites Mm -hmm. ever because I was on, like, the window mm-hmm. and, like, just doing payments. And mm-hmm. I was hearing all of this through, like, the oh, headset. Oh, you can hear, like... Yeah. yeah. Oh, I no, didn't know that. Girl, mm-hmm. No, the whole... S- the whole store can hear it. The whole store the can whole hear you. The whole store. Oh, wow. That's how we would talk shit. Be like, hey, y'all heard that? Oh, yep. Yeah. Wow. That's how we Everyone wow. can hear it. Yeah. And we can see you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, We didn't have that. I know. Did. I do. I love having it because I'm like. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like you whenever... You are like... No. Mm-hmm. Whenever I be going into her store, I have to be like... Because <laughs> they can see me. Hey, can yeah. just a cute boy or something? <laughs> Dead for like, real. Uh, no, because there's an option for us to switch our camera on uh-huh. so you can see us. Why don't you do that? I don't want you to see <laughs> me. <laughs> and we're like, and we can't like put the sandwich in the microwave or not the microwave, <laughs> the oven, and then take off the buns because now your cheese is gone. Like <laughs> we can't, we can't do this. Mm-hmm. Like 
we just can't and we can't sell like frozen food either like if it's um like a meat or like a sandwich or something we can't do that because that's like dangerous like girl we don't want you fucking chomping on frozen bacon what mm-hmm. um so we just we explained to her it took us so long like five eight minutes had passed and she's mm-hmm. still at this damn like box she comes to the window i was at the window mm-hmm. and i was like hell no but i'm like okay your this your totals this this and this expecting her to be like i already fought with somebody there let's just keep it going she goes were you the one who told her to not do that and i'm like no ma'am that was our manager not me like i just work here this was my favorite part she goes because i cannot stand that you guys are messing with me you guys think i'm just one of these regular customers i'm not a regular person you do not want to mess with me ma'am you are driving a honda civic pulling up to a my company at fucking nine in the morning you are the most basic person and literally you are the most regular person right girl, now you are the type of person everybody gets like disclosed company yeah, every single morning everybody comes here like the fuck's wrong with what you? What makes you special? Do you like, work for the president or something? Exactly. Right I was like, huh? You do not want to mess with me. Bitch, I am not messing with you. I'm, I'm, just, like, doing my, I'm just doing my job. So this happened, um, I'm going to say the most recent one, okay? Okay. So there was this um, customer and I like I was on this, like, I was on, I was on my register, right? And on mm. this specific register, there was... Um, I, it was on a register where you on, can only go if you have 15 items or less, you know? And some people, they try to, like, be smart and, and come in with more than 15 items, you know? Mm. And, like... Me. Some <laughs> <laughs> other people, I'm, like, stacking. You know, right? honey, I go to the self-checkout. Don't <gasps> yep. play with me. Yeah, I love check self-checkout. Self-checkout is a Bitch, I don't have to interact with anyone. Perfect. Real. I'll do it myself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Real. But, you know, I asked this man, you know? I asked him, I was like, oh, do you have 15 items or less, you know, because his car looks like he has a lot of stuff, you know, Mm -hmm. and I don't mind if it's a little bit more, if it's over 20, if it's over 30, go to the next level, you literally, You literally have more than half than what I'm saying. You have have. a cookout on your fucking shopping yeah. cart you have a whole party in your right house. right and i'm like and then he starts like counting in front of me which is normal you know like a lot of customers they start counting you know being like mm-hmm. okay i can go here but he starts counting and then and then he's like he was like yeah i have 15 items you know i run 15 items i was like okay okay i'm just letting you know just in case you know and then he was and then literally he tells me like you're not supposed to tell me what to do because i've been working longer than you have been alive and i'm like I can tell. What like, the fuck? And I'm like, congrats. So has my dad and my mom. Right. Because like, I, what? I'm like, do you want a cookie? Like, right. What do you want? You know, like a prize or Have something? Have a ticket. You know? like- and, and I was like, okay. You know, and I was like, I was like, okay, whatever. And then he just said, do you want me to move to another lane? And I was like, you're more than welcome to, but I'm just letting you know I can still attend you. So you should not be saying that I cannot attend you. Exactly. Or that I'm making you move to another lane. Because uh, l- l- in no way you were trying to be disrespectful. Mm-hmm. You were just trying to tell them, like, this is... That is a whole tornado. We're in a hurricane. <laughs> we're a hornado. No. Look at the weather. <laughs> Keep going. No. But, like, in no way you were trying to be disrespectful. You were just try- trying to tell them, like, hey, if you have more than this type of... If you have more than this amount, honey, I can't take you. Yeah, because it one, it is unfair to me. It is unfair to other customers who actually have less than 15 exactly. items, you know? Because there's some people who do not know how to use self-checkout. And they just want to go through a regular freaking lane, you know? So that's what I'm there for, you know? Mm-hmm. So, again, it's not fair to me. It's not fair to other customers that you have more than 15 items. And you're taking up my time. And some of them, mm-hmm. they have places to be, you know? So I'm trying to be respectful and stuff. You know, I'm trying to find solutions, blah, 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 you know? So the fact that he was rude to me, I was like taken back and then and then like at my job i noticed that i always look tired you know Mm -hmm. but i do not let it affect me i do not take it out other customers you know like if i need to take it out i take it out on myself i take it out like like after i'm i'm done working or before i let it all out you Mm -hmm. know but never on a customer you know Mm mm-hmm Period. That's yeah. called professionalism. Yeah, very good. Very mm-hmm. good. I have none. And then, but that's what he basically brought up. He's like, just because you're tired, it doesn't mean. And I cut him off. I was like, no, sir. I 
treat everybody with fucking respect mm-hmm. because one that's how i was trained secondly that's how i was raised you know mm-hmm. trained and raised period uh-huh. and like i know customer service is like my number one priority so again i'm not gonna disrespect anybody just because i had a bad day because i know how it feels to like somebody having their anger or tiredness take it out on me you know because i get it like on a daily basis you know yeah mm. so i'm like so i was like so i was like no he's like i can move on another lane blah 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 and i'm like you you can't like he kept going back and forth about another lane i'm like if you want to go in another lane you can go i'm not forcing you to stay here mm-hmm. like i'm not forcing because you. all you're doing is giving him information yeah and you're not disrespecting him either i was helping this one um i asked this one lady and she was like do you need help finding anything she was like do you know anything about makeup and i was like yes i do well <laughs> why else do i work here no i would have been like not really <laughs> <laughs> no like uh, yeah i would have looked at my name tag looked at my product and my hand be like no no yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> like i was helping her and then she was like wow you actually know a lot of, more about makeup than <laughs> so certain women do i was like thank you i guess <laughs> And she was like, I don't know, we, we were, like, talking, mm-hmm. right? M- mind you, she has, like, this British accent. She's, like, hardcore England. Oh. She's from England. And um, we go England. over mm-hmm. we go over to Tarte, right? Because I'm showing her, like, this concealer. She was like, Tarte. That's a- <laughs> <laughs> she was like, Tarte. She was like, that's a funny name. Do you know what that means in England? And I was like, no, what does it mean? Usually, whenever we call women Tarte, it means they're loose at the bottom. <laughs> And I was like, oh. <laughs> saying that. Oh, I love this book. And she, she was like, Aww. she and she gave me a definition. She was like, honey, you're very taut. <laughs> and, I like, ah! and I was like, oh my God. But we had like a very funny interaction. I actually love that lady. Oh my God. I hope she's doing well. I hope she's doing well. She well in life. She comes back. But she was like, she's iconic. She was so funny. She taught me so much things about. Oh, she's an icon. She's a fucking icon, bro. Oh my that God. She's so crazy. <laughs> oh, I have an iconic woman wow. at my. <laughs> oh, I, I just saw her like yesterday or two days ago. Uh-huh. She's comes in like every so often. First time I saw her was at the drive thru. Mm-hmm. She pulled through. And I don't interact with customers. Mm-hmm. I don't like customers. Everybody knows this. They put me wherever the customers are not. Mm-hmm. But this time I was on drive through, and um, I don't again. I don't really interact because we promote like um, customer connection, customer interaction. So we're like, oh, how's your day? Or oh, I like like your ring. I like this. Mm-mm. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> Here's your drink. <laughs> but. This one lady, she was chatting up a storm. Mm -hmm. And the only reason I talked to her was because she was, she had like a bag next to her Mm -hmm. of food. And it was from this restaurant that I passed by um, every time I come back from school. And I'm always like, damn, that looks like a good restaurant. Like, maybe I'll come here one day. And I saw the bag and she was like, oh my goodness. Like, I, like, I love this place. I just went there. It's kind of expensive, but it's so good. She talks so fast too. And <laughs> I the, love fast people talking. Yes. People and then she was like, the nachos, the nachos are amazing. The cheeseburger is what I had. And oh my God, I thought it wasn't going to be as good, but they make it fresh. I saw them. They were in the kitchen and they made it for me and I ate it. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's amazing, ma'am. And she was like, I know. And then she started talking to me about men. She was, like, <laughs> she was like, you know, no. And her friends, she was like, you know, my friends say I'm very, um, what is it? Oh, what's that word? We don't know that word. <laughs> what what like, maintenance like oh high maintenance. Oh, high maintenance um my friends say i'm very high maintenance like i like i do too much or whatever and i'm like really why and they're like it's because i always want to go when i want to treat myself and i go eat at nice places this and that i'm like you're so right it's just because they're poor and it's, <laughs> no. she's like, like you're right they are they can't they can't do this and that's why i don't have a man because he never treats me right period period, period. Oh, period. period. How cheap are they? and they're like yes because when a man and he's the ceo but he never treats you like he never treats a woman and then I was like, "Ma'am, you're right. Like, you're speak right. your truth. Speak no. your truth, you're ma'am." Both. I was just you're like, I was with her drink. I was like, "Uh huh." Uh-huh. You're like, "Uh huh." Here's yeah. your dollar twenty five. You're taking a sip from her drink, like, mm-hmm. yeah. Be like, right. Period. She's iconic. <laughs> we love her. Period. I love her. Oh my god. And that oh was the god. one person I've ever interacted with. And then yes, yeah, or two days ago, she came, and she came in the store and she bought she bought a cup. Mm-hmm and oh oh my god she bought a cup and then she came up to like buy it whatever whatever and then i was passing by um because i was going back and forth between like restocking and like just like 
mm-hmm. making drinks or whatever. And she comes up to the cash register. I'm like, oh, she's going to buy something else or whatever. And then she hands me this box. It's like this big brown packaging box. She's like, here, do you feel it moving? And I was like, what? And she's like, because the cup, I, I feel it moving inside. I can hear it. So I'm, I'm grabbing this box and I'm like, <laughs> no, really? It's broken. No, I'm like, no, it doesn't feel too like, I think she'll be fine. And then she goes on explaining, it's because I'm going to mail this to um to England, to my favorite celebrity, because he sent, or I sent him a picture and he signed the picture and he sent it back to me. And I was like, oh my wait, gosh. Wait, wait, what celebrity with this? I don't know. She didn't tell me. Oh my oh God. God. Uh, I asked her. I asked oh her. Oh my God. But she didn't tell me. And I was like, oh my gosh. And yeah, I'm like, she was like, he's my favorite one ever. And you know, uh, um, it's Harry Styles. Right? <laughs> I was thinking that. I was sad. <laughs> so she packages English? it up, and she's like, "It's, it's King Charles." <laughs> Stop! <laughs> no, <laughs> my favorite celebrity. <laughs> and she's shaking it. She's like, "But it's not moving a lot." Like I understand why she felt worried, mm-hmm. but it was moving by this much. Oh. And then I was like, "Honestly, I think you'll be fine." And she's like, "Are you sure it's going all the way to England?" And I was like, no, no, I'm pretty Go sure it will England. be. Because she's like, because I'm like, what else did you put in there? Like, you know? And she's like, it's it's in the bag. Um, and there's coffee. And there's like a candle or like sweatshirts, something. Clothes. I forgot what she said. Damn, she's going all out for this guy. Yeah. And, but I'm he's like, like, oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, my. Oh, my. All the people in America. Right? I have received um, a gift. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, my God. And then she started going, do you think like. FedEx would be better at like handling it because I know some no hold on because she she went because I know some like the post office they're not very cautious and then she started pretending to be a mailman he was like because if I was a mailman I would be going like this and she's moving this box she's like I hope it doesn't break and she's going like this and I'm like right man right right be like man <laughs> if you keep doing that it's actually gonna break and she's like because I know some of the U.S. like postal service, like USPS or whatever, I know they handle it. They don't handle it with super like a lot of care because they go, <laughs> they would look at it and they'd be like, "Fuck this!" <laughs> no, imagine she's like trying to show it. She actually the box. <laughs> she breaks it, and she's like, "Do you think if I write fragile right here, do you think they would care?" I'd be like, "Yeah, no, they should." And she's like, "No, they wouldn't. They would go like this." <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, she's like iconic. I love her. <laughs> Me too. She's my favorite oh my person. She's so funny. I'm she's like the only go, person I'll talk to. Establishment one day and see her. And just wait for her. Yeah. Right? Oh my god, she's iconic. Oh my god, there was this one lady this one time at my job. She was trying to buy gifts for like five different girls. Oh no. <laughs> and my mind she ended up spending like two thousand dollars <gasps> uh, t- i don't know enough girls no, to spend no. that much but the thing is she was like do you think this is enough <laughs> like, no, like, and, like, she had three full on baskets Whoa. And she was like, do you think this is enough i would have been like no do you think this is enough? Enough? and she was like because i also got them olivia Ro- rodrigo tickets ah! they, like i got Whoa. them back, and like she was like i got them first row <laughs> i was like i, I bought them a box ma'am Ma'am, I think this is more than enough. <laughs> she was like, no, 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 I need more. <laughs> I was like, who are these five girls? They're white. Well, obviously they're white. <laughs> but like, are they, how are they related to her? Are they her friends, her sisters, her her nieces, her, her granddaughters? The thing is, I don't think they were family members. I think there were like... How old did the woman look? No, they were, they were in ballet. I think those were her like students. Oh, damn. But like, Olivia Rodrigo. Her students. First row. I was helping her shop around for like an hour. And she was like, oh, fuck. I need to go pick up my dog. And <laughs> <laughs> she was like, I was like, ma'am, I'll go put these up for you. And she was like, okay, I'll wait in line. Oh, my God. <laughs> I would have been crying. I was like, oh, my God. I would have asked her. We were like, oh, I like this. But nobody could buy me. <laughs> I'd be like, you know, I think they would really, really love this fragrance. I've been wanting it forever, but <laughs> nobody buys it for me. <laughs> nobody. Buys me. Oh my god, I would you love know? to have her as like a madrina or something. Yes. Like, oh my god, a godmother. <gasps> oh my god, if she goes, out, I contact her no, and be like, hey. No, because if she goes out this much for her students, students, imagine like a madrina. Yes. Yeah. Oh my, I was flabbergasted. No, that was it, so was, it was around the holidays. So I was like, girl. <gasps> this is one time mm-hmm. where I, I think I've told you this before. Um, this was like 
probably like six months into my job uh-huh. okay. i was like halfway there um we were it was on it was on sunday it was on the lord's day the lord's, the lord's, lord's day, lord's day. Mm-hmm. um Praise you know lord. we were we were we were getting close we had an hour left mm-hmm. right and so uh, you know everything is going fine until this man comes in oh this man mind you tall he he stinks horrible not like marijuana stink he he has not showered. like musty <gasps> musty and it was like that sharp scent that oh really, i know exactly like that, what you're talking like about like as soon as he yeah it was like in. that that putrid ass scent Ew. it was like so bad I'm gonna i was like and he had a backpack on and then <laughs> we've been grabbing like perfume be like <laughs> oh like and so like we 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 watched him come in and we were like because usually when people come in with backpacks obviously they is it, the, most people are gonna steal yeah that's what we thought because mm-hmm. most people that have came in with backpacks they usually come in to steal mm-hmm. so we were like okay keep, keep a close eye on this customer because we don't know what his intentions are mm-hmm. so he was walking around us or it, it was looking like he was looking around and then he goes over to our prestige site which is like all of our like luxury like mm-hmm. brands mm-hmm. basically brands that you can't find at a drugstore yeah pretty much um he goes over, over to that side and he starts talking to one of our one of our um coworkers mm-hmm. and so like you know like we didn't think anything of it maybe he was just um asking her like of a certain product that mm-hmm. he wanted to buy or something and so we didn't think much of it until because we, we obviously we were still keeping a close eye on him. I was the, one of the people that had to be like a little closer to him, but I couldn't hear their conversation. I was like right yeah. next to the fragrances, and so this customer, it was a lady. It was a lady. She was like, she comes over to us and she was like, "Hey, like that man is really making her uncomfortable. Like he's <gasps> asking her like really like I think you weird yeah. questions." And I was like, "Okay, thank you for letting me know." And so like whenever and she was like, "Yeah, like just." making sure because she looks really uncomfortable so uh, i walk over oh god bless that customer i walk over Mm -hmm. and i'm like listening to the conversation i'm pretending to help this one customer like that's in the aisle and so this guy was like hey like how long have you been working (gasps) hell no oh my god oh my god no there's a bug (laughs) no we're fine it's over there it's over there (laughs) we're fine it's over there (laughs) It's over there. We're fine. We're fine. It's, it's gone. Yes! It's gone. It's gone. No, it's like it's over there. That it's gone. It went over to the door. It's gone. I'm not going near the door. Paul, okay. you're going first. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. We will. Oh my god. Okay, continuing this. St- <laughs> Are we still recording? Yes, we're still recording. Okay, we better leave that in. <laughs> no, cut to where you said, "Oh my god," <laughs> and then cut it. No. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Continuing the story. Oh, shit. Go ahead. <laughs> Continuing the story. Um, basically, I'm in an aisle right next to them, and I'm hearing, like, I'm l- trying to listen to their conversation, and this guy is, like, asking her, like, how long have you been working here? Like, you're really, you're a really your pretty business. girl. And I'm like, okay. And yeah. she was like, I've been working here for, like, a good while. She's like, thank you. Like, she's just, well, she's one of the sweetest people there. And mm-hmm. she's like, she's like, you could tell she's like, uncomfortable uncomfortable um and he's like um he notices me and then he was like would you maybe want to go somewhere more private so we can talk in private I no was like, this is my job <clears throat> and i was like and she was like no i can't leave this spot i have to stay in this spot this is where i'm like located and he was like this is where i'm stationed like we can I'll go over to where the bathrooms are <gasps> Mind you, the bathrooms are, like, right next to the salon, and they're kind of, like, closed off, but, like, not really, but, like... It's more secluded. The fact that he was trying to get her to the bathroom is no. actually crazy. And so... Uh-huh. Um, that's where I pitch in. Mm-hmm. That's where it's, like, um, that's where I'm, like, she actually can't leave this spot because... I go up to them, and I'm, like, she actually can't leave this spot because she has to stay... She has to work here. This is her... Um, the sign's designated spot. Yeah, this is her designated spot. She has to stay here, and he was like, um, he left like annoyed. He was like, ah, and then he left, and I was like, the fuck. And she, the girl was like, thank you. <laughs> I really needed that. So no. I was like, no, girl, you're fine. Like, and then, but the thing is, he has it. He didn't leave the store. 
he went over to the other side to try to find another girl to talk to. What? And <sighs> literally, we had like 10 minutes of too close. No, bro, we I were, we were, the, that the music room. was off. People were like checking out. We were, we were trying to, we were just trying to get everybody out. So mm-hmm. I was already fucking frustrated. I would have been up his ass. He ends up stopping another one of our coworkers, mm-hmm. and um, I'm trying to pitch into their conversation. As well. And then he's like asking her the same thing, like, "How long have you been working here? Like, you're a really pretty girl. Like, do you think we can go somewhere more private?" It's like dude i'm like no yeah sure come here i'm Actually, like being like follow, so I'd straight like, up follow me you are, out out the door. Door. You are ugly as fuck you are weird you stink you stay nobody wants to fucking go with you nobody mm-hmm. wants to talk to you hey. and no wonder you're fucking single look at look at how you fucking act right and how so you act how you he's, dress he's talking to the co-worker he's like he this one particular question still gets me what? he asked her like, do you want to be my slave? I was flabbergasted. He was like, he was like, you would make a really good woman. Like, I want a woman to cook for me. I like you look like you you can do a lot, and even though you're a woman. I was like, listening to this, I was disgusted. Oh my! Like my brain just went foggy how the fuck literally he he was like i want you to be my maid i want you to like all this and then she was like don't talk to me like that like what and she was trying to get away from him and so that's when i pitch in and she was like yo bro we're closing you need to leave and he was like i'm not talking to you i'm not talking to you he's he's trying to but i'm talking to you but oh yeah and i was like but i'm talking to you and so like we're like arguing at this point and then the security guard finally <laughs> that's like we had the security this whole time but he wasn't doing shit L- love him love him he was iconic love but security. he wasn't doing shit <laughs> and then he finally comes over he was like yo you need to go we're closing and we're, we're trying to get him out and then the manager comes in um and then the manager comes in and she was like like come on like you have to go like we're closing and then we finally get him to leave like we like escorted him out we locked the door and i was like are you okay she was like yeah i'm fine she was fine she wasn't like yeah because the thing is that was her last day oh she 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 was already like done but this this uh, the, she had already told us like early on she was like this mm-hmm. is actually my last day like i'm not gonna be working here anymore so mm-hmm. the fact that this happened to her on her Damn. last day is so insane like i'm so happy it was her last i would have been Oh, oh. I'm not sure of the next day. Right. But that was literally one of the most disgusting men I have ever met in my life. I remember one time, like, um, I was I was checking out my um, my friend's aunt, right? Mm-hmm. And it was also like on like on an express lane, but mm-hmm. this time I had like a bagger, and the bagger offered like to stay a little bit longer. She was like, "Oh, I can help you take this customer who has more than fifteen items." Just so that the lines goes faster, because we had a like a lot of customers that day. You yeah. Know? Mm-hmm. So my my bagger was like, I, I we can take this one, and I was like, okay, okay, thank you, you know. And I was just chatting with like my friends, um, ah, oh, you know, because she knows me, and blah blah blah. And then um, and then like, and then the, this dude that was like, two people behind her, it's also like, an old straight guy, you know. He was he was complaining. He was like, "Why is she over here? She has more than fifteen items." Blah blah blah. Girl. And I was like, "I was like, sir. First of all, I let her. Second of all, so did my manager, who's right behind me, because she was also okay with that. I asked her beforehand. I was like, "Is it okay?" Mm-hmm. She was like, "Yeah, yeah." And then my manager also defended my uh, the aunt. You know, mm-hmm. she was like, "Ma'am," she was she 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 was like, "Sir," she she was already on the lane. She put her she put her stuff down, and plus the bagger also offered so that is okay with us you know mm-hmm. so you know like there's the there's no need to make a big deal about this yeah, yeah. Exactly. and then he, and then he kept making a big deal and then she was she was like okay have a great day you know and then and then like i i apologized to the aunt even though it was not my fault mm-hmm. i apologize i'm like i'm so sorry you know and then she's yeah. like no you're good you're good you know and like i said that man was like two people behind the aunt so in between them was the, like this old lady you know mm-hmm. this Vietnamese lady right and so the aunt left and then I attended this Vietnamese lady you know and she didn't know that much English and my bagger she's Vietnamese so she was translating stuff you know for mm-hmm. me mm-hmm. she was like oh she That's said good. she's gonna pay cash and then card whatever and I was like okay 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 you know and 
the Vietnamese lady, she had a few questions for my bagger, and they started speaking, and then, and then basically, he started moving his car right next to her, Ooh. like behind her, and like in order for her to move, and I'm like, no, I'm like, why are you so close? There's to no need her? for you to do that, bro. I hate whenever like people are in line and people are like so close to one another. To their fucking bro, neck. I'm like, like move. move? You're obviously you're fucking next. Like chill. Like what are you? Yeah. No one's sticking your spot. Literally, like bro. At this point, I can smell your hot ass breath. Mm-hmm. Like bro, get the fuck. Right. Like if you're in the rush, you don't need to be in the line. Get out. Okay, guys. Um, I think that's gonna conclude today's podcast. It was a pleasure having you here, Adriana. So I hope, me. I hope you, you enjoyed your time here. I did. But um, yeah, guys. Um. <laughs> 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 Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.